And I had the same experience with, um, we were talking about Claire Denis' film, uh, Beau Travail. I mm. sort of couldn't, but I saw it, I suddenly saw it as art and made, as made by people. Beau Travail is the movie that made me understand cinema. It snapped into focus for me, that it's things captured on film and put together through editing to create meaning beyond language. And it's dance, but it's not dance. It's theater, but it's not theater. It's movement. It's an art of montage. And I think these bodies in the desert, I can't even articulate what it means because it is, the movie tells you what that is, of dancing and war and love and death. Denis Levant and his face and his physicality being so in the foreground of what it is that kind of full body acting, and Tsushiro Mufune has it too, that I like performers that exist in that, like your mom said, you know, you want to see them head to toe. If you cut their feet off, I don't know what they feel. That's what I like about it, is like, it's like their whole bodies contain the story. I could be wrong about this, but I think the first time I actually watched Bojavai, I didn't know Claire Denis, I didn't know she was a woman, but what I did know is the sort of, love of looking at the beauty of these men and the reverence for it. I think I felt in the filmmaking that in a way, whoever was photographing it was not that. And the sort of desire inherent in it, whether it's to be it or to just appreciate it, there was some kind of unspoken magnet happening between the person behind the camera and what's being photographed. And I think that it's not a peeping Tom, it's a glorious portrait of yeah. it. And it gives it space. The first time I saw Michelangelo's David and I actually saw it and I thought, oh my, <laughs> like you kind of, it's, it takes your breath away and yeah. you realize like, ah, yes, this is to be loved. This is, a beautiful moment and it's to be loved. And I think that she captures that feeling. And this is not a predatory gaze, but it's it's the different ways of looking. I always feel inchoate when I talk about her because I think, well, she, she did it better with no words. And now I'm gonna say all these words and it's gonna do it not as well as she did with nothing. And then of course his dance at the end, which is um, yes. one of the most you euphoric, tragic things. Yeah, it's beautiful.